Hey guys, so I wanted to share a tutorial. It's not really a tutorial because it's a really simple thing, but it's a thing that I don't necessarily think people think of. Um, and that is using your Copic Various inks in mini misters like these Tim Holst, uh, these Distress mini misters. Um, and uh, I did it last night when I was working on another piece where I sprayed colorless blender and um, a blue so you can you can see where the the spray droplets hit um, and this is nice if you don't have a Copic airbrush system or you want something that's a little larger in droplet size or a little less dispersed something else I had tried last night is I tried putting iridescent medium and water in one of these and it broke it the, the flakes that make iridescent medium iridescent will clog and ruin. Like, I couldn't get it. I couldn't work it out. Um, I was at the sink for a while trying to get that out. But this should be fine because it's dye-based. It's not pigment-based, pigment so it shouldn't block your spray bottle. So the colors I'm going to be doing today are BV23, BV00, YG01, YG41, and R22. I already made a B32 mister last night. In addition to wanting mini spray bottles and your ink, you're also going to want a marker, a permanent marker that you can label your, your mister with the color, and that'll help you later on. And it's really easy to do. I don't even necessarily recommend filling it up all the way. Um, until you know you're going to use the color a lot. And this technique does actually use a lot of the ink um, when you spray. And I think the, um, the airbrush system might use less ink. Um, so really it depends on what you're looking for. So as you can see, I filled my mini mister with BV23. I didn't really fill it up too much because I want to see how much I like the color. Um, and I'm not 100% sure at this point in time if you can ever clean the ink out entirely. I kind of think you probably can with some rubbing alcohol and I might be showing you guys that later on. So you want to label your ink, your bottle, with the color for your reference. So. BV23 with my not so great handwriting and I'm gonna go ahead and um, fill the rest of these bottles and speed up the video <laughs> And one more tip before I go, if you get ink on your, um, if you have like a glass tabletop like I have and you get ink on it through spraying or just a spill, um, Windex will clean it right up. Um, I wouldn't let it sit for a couple of days, but yesterday my work surface was covered with um, various ink and um, white ink and even pearlescent medium and I used some Windex to clean it up when I was done. So I hope you guys found that interesting and useful. If you guys have any um, tips or tricks for using Copic Various Ink, leave me a comment below. Um, and I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Have a good day, guys. Bye.